So, are we going to talk about the fact that Instagram slash Facebook slash WhatsApp sold our fucking information? Like, seriously? Are we just not going to talk about that? Because, like, I want to talk about that. So, it's like Instagram thinks they're hot shit, bro. They think, ah, I'm sorry, Vegas. They think they're hot shit. And... It's because we've given them too much power, you know. They okay, let me let me put you up in the I can make my food. Okay, so it's like this though. We've given Instagram slash Facebook slash WhatsApp, whatever you want to fucking call it, um, all this power because we're on their app all day long. And all these people are trying to get famous off their app. And it and it, it's essentially become all of these horrible things into one and i'll tell you what it is just like becoming the gatekeeper in hollywood um the radio which is also a gatekeeper for musicians um it's like being the talent agent um oh and also the most popular road to be putting your billboards and advertising so in four ways they got a way to fuck us bro like seriously think about it think about it though if we would just quit using their shit then they would quit being such cunts and okay so this is what happened to my instagram today So basically, I have had so many Instagram accounts get taken, shut down, disabled, whatever you want to call it, by Instagram. Uh, for no reason, like, I don't post, like, you know, like, any type of shit that they would consider deemable to, like, delete, you know what I mean? So... Alright, so... My experience with Instagram is I worked on the app for four years. I developed a fan base of 100,000. Um, in turn, I, at the later year, the latest year, I developed a website out of demand and necessity, you know. Um, you have a lot of people asking you for things and shit. So, <clears throat> build this website. I'm growing on Instagram, you wake up one morning, boom, Instagram disables your account. Okay, now imagine that day happening 14 more times in the course of a year before Instagram finally shuts you down. And it's not like you did anything different, you, you know, you posted what you were going to post and like all of it was like similar, you know, they had no reason to take it away, they had every reason to give it back they gave it back every single time because they knew they were at fault right right okay bear with me so <clears throat> they take it away again and Natu um, naturally you're like they've taken it away 15 times they've admitted fault 15 times sorry we don't know why it got taken away sometimes our shit is too sensitive is basically the gist of what i got so they take it away again, naturally I assume I'm gonna get it back because I've gotten it back. Like, that's what the pattern tells me is that I'll get it back. So I don't get it back. And then they delete my, um, or disable my backup. And then they disable basically my backup of a backup. And then they disabled my personal. And then they just started disabling my fan counts. Um, And I'll tell you why I, I got back on the app again strictly for the people that I knew, like, like I have followers and I'm friends with my followers. So it's not just like they're my followers. You know what I mean? Like I fucking talk to these people. I fucking go live with these people. I'm fucking in the comments, not like fucking in the comments, but I'm in the comments with these people. They're my friends. So it's like, okay, I know that there's probably about 45 people that I'd want to talk to that are not gonna be on Twitter. Like, these friends that I have made are not gonna be on Twitter for me to just go, hey, 
everyone on Twitter, blah, 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 blah. Like, that's not how my community fucking works. You feel like I can't switch my community somewhere that it's not because, like, all the people won't be there, and that's what makes it... Like, every individual person makes the community the community. You feel? So these, these like, 75 people who I knew wouldn't, wouldn't go on Twitter, I'm like, shit, so I'll make my account for them, Right? Right. But you're like, okay, Instagram keeps disabling me, so I'll go private, okay? And then, so you do go private, and you gain 15,000 followers in, like, two weeks. That's what happened to me. I gained, like, 15,000 in two weeks, and, um, and it wasn't a brand new account, mind you. That account was two years old. It was a backup of a backup of a backup that I made, but never actually made into a backup, you feel? Like, it was just kind of something that I had made and never needed um, because, like, I had gotten my Instagram accounts back or whatever the case was. So, where was I? Back to getting this account um, back and running for these few select people that I knew wouldn't be on other platforms. Boom. Go private so that they can't delete you. Okay, that works for a second. But whenever you're getting, like, okay, like, in the morning I would wake up and there would be... 700 follow requests to sit there I counted one time I was like I'm just gonna sit here there was only like 150 and I was like I'm gonna just see how long it would take me to accept 150 friend or like follow requests but the way that it glitches every time you accept about four it makes it really difficult so it took me an hour and a half to do 130 and I was like you know what fuck that I'm just gonna go private for the majority of the day um and then at night before i go to sleep i'll just accept everyone's by going public for a second you feel because like that's what you do unless you want to sit there for like literally just like what's an hour and a half times like seven because that's what how much it would be you know what i mean like i literally don't have time to make it my full-time job to sit there and accept friend requests that's not a realistic expectation that Instagram could expect of anyone. You know what I mean? Like, I got shit to do. Like, if I'm sitting there accepting follow requests fucking the majority of the day, like, what the fuck? I can't fix myself dinner. I can't go work. I can't do shit. You know what I mean? So they expect you to be like a slave in that way to like, if you want your account private, then you're going to have to be a work bitch and accept every single one of those requests and do about 150 every hour and a half or 130 every hour and a half might have been 120 I don't really remember it was like 120 to 150 anyway <clears throat> so I figured out why Instagram hates private accounts let's think about it for a second Instagram is a free app they make money off of advertising, okay? If your account is private, then you can't advertise to any of those people. And you know Instagram doesn't put advertisements embedded into your, like, uh, profile wall. No, they don't do that. They put them in your feed. So whenever you're a private account and you're only following private accounts, that feed becomes kind of ironclad. You can't really put an ad in there. But you can put an ad on a public post. You know? You feel... So, with that being said, they don't want you to have the ability to have a large following on an account that is private. They want you to either get all of the followers and then go private because so that that way at least they've made a little bit of money off you like supreme patty supreme patty had to get to like he got over a million followers before he went private you feel me so the way instagram looks at that is they go okay well at least we made up to a million point two like 
ability to advertise on his shit. You feel me? So it's not like he was been private from the beginning, he's private at the end, they've made zero dollars. Of course, they would be pissed and they'd probably shut his account down just like they shut mine down. But whenever you do it from the first moment, you're private all the way and you're only public for a couple seconds a day and they're literally gonna make two cents off of you every day and you're gaining and gaining and gaining and gaining followers. Instagram doesn't like that. Because it's about money now and it's not about like a platform. You feel me? And that's why, like me personally, I think everyone should tr like really try their fucking hardest not to use Instagram for anything. I, I really believe that. And it's not just because I have this personal vendetta. It's because they want this money. So they they come across as so greedy. You know what I mean? Like you sold out. If you can't make money off of, you, off of people, then you don't want them on your platform. You don't care how many followers you're hurting by taking them off of your platform. You won't allow them to go private because you make it too difficult to accept people. There's just a lot of stuff. But also, they're being investigated by the United States government for selling your data. Your fucking data, your DMs, who you follow, who you've ever followed, who's ever followed you, every single product you like. Oh, you like Bruce Lee movies? Good to know. Now we can sell shit to you. Oh, you like um, Shark Tank stuff? Cool. We'll sell you a 12... 12 step course on how to be a fucking entrepreneur um there's just so many like different ways that this is fucked like morally ethically like it's just fucked and they sold all that information not to like researchers trying to do human development or some stupid crap that you could play off but i mean people would still be pissed but at least it'd be a teeny bit better no 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 they sold it to fucking companies, bro, so that they can advertise to you, to a T, who you are on this platform. Oh, and guess what? Instagram could go to Google and go, hey, we have this information, so we want to target people from, I don't know, let's just say Georgia. Um, well, we want to target people from Atlanta, Georgia to sell, I, I don't even know, we'll, we'll say uh, a Georgia peach pillow. It doesn't say Georgia peach, but it's like a peach pillow and it's nice and shit. And they, okay, so like, let's take it a step further. If they knew everything that they know, which they do know, they would just go to them and say, okay. We're going to develop, we're going to target this, the 18 to 27 crowd in, um, I can't even like think of examples that aren't too close to home, you know, because I'm trying to make the examples like broad enough for everybody. Um, it'd be like globally, you going to the United States and pitching people from California, like San Diego, really, really high end shit. Like, it's really just not fair. Like, that they can so niche it down and target you. It, it, like, I like candles. If I look up people's preferences in candles on Instagram, now these candle companies have the information to target me for their candles. They might be shit candles, they might be candles you've never heard of, but the fact that they can just pay. To be like, hey, with no one, you know, verifying the validity of them. Because at least with influencers on Instagram, like, they'll say their shit if they're shit and they won't do it. They'll be like, fuck no, I'm not showing people this. I'll get clowned. Like, for real. I'm not selling shit that's going to break. That's how you, like, get the reputation of being fucking bougie. Like, and scammy. No one likes that shit anymore. That doesn't fly in our society, so I don't understand why there's people trying to like niche it down so hard to sell a fuck like they'll literally go into debt 
to try to sell a fucking product and it's ridiculous. And like, frankly, why are we still supporting that shit? Why, why aren't we just all on Twitter? Why haven't we created a new platform? Like, honestly, it's like, who is we? Like, we is whoever does it. And like, honestly, I'm about to fucking do it. Because this shit is mad annoying. And I don't know what my app would be called. But you goddamn best believe there would be freedom of speech on that app for sure. Like, you'd be able to post whatever you want. And like, we're not going to sell jack shit. You feel like... This is bullshit. Like. <laughs> Hi Vegas. Come say hello to the people. It's bullshit. You are a good boy. Anyway. Rant on Facebook. Um, I don't know how to get people to not use Instagram. Or Facebook or whatever. But the power that we're giving them for nothing, like literally for nothing, it's ridiculous. Yep, that's, that's all I gotta say about it. So please just go on Instagram, find a new app, create a new app. Like, it don't gotta be me, just someone do it. Like, we gotta do this shit. We gotta do it. We can't keep letting these same people fuck us over and over and over and over and over and over to a point you start to feel like that girl that keeps going back to her abusive ex. You're just like, what the fuck? We can't keep doing that. Like, Facebook sold our information. Now Instagram's being investigated. Like, it's all fucked. It's all fucked. So, boom, bam. That's how I feel. I hope that brings some sort of, you know, like, acknowledgement that it's happening. Because I feel like a lot of people think that the Facebook shit is, is over and done with. But, like, it's not. They're just trying to, like, distract you with all the, these stupid shit. But their, their account, their whole, like, Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram were all shut down the other day. And I really think it was because, ding, 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 the FBI was investigating just how deep their information leaks go. So, we'll see. We'll see. I really think that Instagram is going to be shut down by the government within the next, like, two months. Like, for real, facts. Like, I really think that. That's how I feel. So, we can only hope that you know, they can get their act together without actually leaving. But, like, I don't even trust them anymore. You know what I mean? Like, I don't trust the... It would have to be literally dissolved and sold completely all publicly and have a new, completely, completely, completely new, like, uh, employee. Like, no one that worked there before could work there again. Like, it all have to basically just be sold to the government and then they hire everyone. But at the same time, I wouldn't want to give the government, like... Like, why do they just get the multi-billion dollar thing? Like, I feel like us, the people whose information they sold, we should be getting some of that settlement. Because it is a multi-billion dollar fine. Facebook's going to get fined. Like, the negotiations are happening right now with the U.S. government. They will be fined. It might be one billion dollars. It might be multi-billion dollars. But you have to understand that I think it's 200 million is Facebook's revenue per day, per day, nigga, per day. Like, it is that crucial. And they make all that fucking money, and then they sell all of our information, and they make more fucking money, and the government wants to come in and stop that, which is good, they should. But at the same time, if they get the money... That Facebook, you know, the multi-billion dollar fine, that should be going to us, you feel? And I just want to wonder why Cardi B isn't talking about this real shit on the platform that she blew up on whenever she's sitting there talking about taxes and all this, that, and the other. Like, here's some real shit. Go talk about it. Because, like, we're losing. We're losing our media, and that's just what made artists and 
you know, it, it took it all the gatekeepers away, and now we've just given it right back. It's not our fault, but now we got to stop it. You know what I mean? <clears throat> and if the government's going to find Facebook, then there needs to be like a lawsuit to where every single person that had an Instagram or Facebook account gets a percentage of that money because they sold our shit. They, sh they sold our private information used to target advertise for us. And I'm not saying that makes you like a victim in any way, but I'm just saying that's fucked. Like that is fucked that they can invade your cyberspace like that and literally poke you with things that they know, they know will have a high retention rate. Like I'm a business person too. Like I, I know the fucking phrases and shit. It's, it's not that hard if you don't know them though. Like, we have to stop them from doing shit like this. Because it's all about money now. It's all about money. So, I don't know how we would go about that. Maybe you have some fucking ideas. But all I know is that I'm fucking pissed. And I want to do something about it. You know what I mean? That's, that's all I'm saying. Now I'm just... <sighs> I should probably go finish my cereal. It's probably soggy by now, but mm, not too bad. Anyway, I'm sorry for going on a rant. I just felt like it had to be sad, you know. Okay. I'll see you later. We gotta figure it out. Like, comment or DM me or some shit. Like, you have an idea we'll we'll, we'll start on it <laughs> okay bye